All right, so today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to get rid of dust and scratches on your camera. First, you want to go over to your effects and you can simply just type in dust. The first one will pop up dust and scratches right here. Drag that over to your video clip. And you can see right here, this was when I was in Costa Rica and I got some toucans on this tree, which was amazing. But notice that I still had some dust uh, left over on the lens. So easy fix, just kind of see right here where my focus areas are. I have one little dust piece right here, a couple up in this corner, and then some dots over on this left side. So first things first, once you drag dust and scratches over to your video clip, you can see it's over here. And this is how you're gonna create uh, each clip. So you wanna create an ellipse mask. And you can see this is my first one right here, which I can drag. You're just going to kind of scale this down to the exact size of that dust or scratch. You can also rotate it as well. And these are the features that I typically use uh, with the radius. You want to go to about like maybe 20 or around 30. I found that 30 completely wipes it out as you just saw right there. I'll show you again. Radius is zero. You can see that dust mark uh, still, but once you hit the radius of 30, it's just good enough there. You can switch uh, your feather too, so I can feather it out just to kind of like uh, add that gradient. Typically, um, I just play around with that just to see which features I like. Sometimes you need more feathering than others. And it actually works out that I'm in the cloud because um, it's easier to mask uh, to that type of background. So just figure out what works for you. Just for this clip, for an example, I'm just gonna keep the feather at 10. You can see that it actually disappeared. So basically, you want to do that over and over again. You want to keep creating masks and you want to fill in all your separate spots. Um, I already have one filled in right here for you. So if I go right here, you can see that I have uh, all my masks created and you can go from this clip. You can see all those still there. But once I created all those masks, you can see that they are all disappeared. So let's see the final product um, with the dust marks on it still. Yeah, so it looks a little unprofessional, but what does it look like with the dust and scratches now fixed? So that worked out a lot better. So there you go. Hope you guys can apply this in the future. And as always, happy editing.